so excited to be sitting down with you Thank today. You. You've been so inspiring um, in the industry and I guess we should just start with, tell us a little bit about yourself and where you came from, how you started up. Cool, I'm Omar Grant, co-president of Rock Nation Records um, from New York. I started out as a tour manager, road manager for Destiny's Child and Beyonce. Um, you know, through that long journey, obviously, for, uh, you can see the Beyonce, Jay-Z, connection. <laughs> um, in the midst of that, I've been a um, uh, uh, publisher at EMI, also A&R Epic Records, and A&R also Rock Nation, where I've been for 10 years and now co-president of the label. Um, how would you say that Rihanna's eighth album, Anti, came together? Um, a lot of work. It was uh, three years, um, and you know, it's that thing where, you know, nothing great is going to come overnight, right? So it's it's a process, it's finding the sound, and um, I mean, I'm proud of the record because many say that's Rihanna's, you know, the, they say their favorite album or or the one that they, they love so much, right? And I mean, we and you can just tell the work that was put into it, you know, uh, and we, we've done a lot. We've traveled around the world making this record, following Rihanna around and then doing a bunch of stuff. We've came with different sounds and different ideas and, you know, creative visions and um, just really her own sound that we we just kind of pinpoint and just found together and and it was really personal it was it was things that went on in everyone who was involved in life and I, I just you know we laugh and we joke about this record a lot because it is a core of us you know where it's from uh, Ku Carell, who's the vocal producer Marcos Tovar the engineer myself um, obviously Rihanna uh, uh, you know her crew too Melissa Ford and, and uh, Jen Rosales and uh, you know other, also like Tyran Smith and Jay Brown and you know we were all like a tight knit kind of family traveling around the world doing all this stuff making this album and everyone had their own little thing going on in their life and and you know we all kind of came together in family and, and and all those stories and all those things for one goes into the music really really cool and then two also just has stories that we're going to be bonded with for life and so it's it's a, it's a, it's a when I think of this album it's it's one of the one of the albums I'm most proud of creatively and just just the journey that we did and, and of, of making it together, right? From um, writing camps, from traveling around the world, from the songs that came about, the, the, um, the, the people that were involved, you know, meaning us, but also creatively, the producers, the songwriters, um, just the songs that came out in different places and how everyone just kind of came together and just put this by to work. And when you seen the finished product, it was, it was amazing. You know, it's funny, I was listening, I was watching, or not watching, I was looking at Rihanna's latest book that she put together now. And, you know, there's a section in it and you kind of go back and it's funny, there's a section in the book where you turn and it says, Omar, you have only one job, right? <laughs> and, and it's kind of an inside joke. And, and, um, and it, it was just, I, you know, I can't really get too much into the story, but it was just all the emotion that went into that one day. And, you know, a, a saying came out of it, it's like, Omar, you have one job, right? <laughs> And that became the title of a book, and all I can do is laugh about that part now. <laughs> oh, wow. I always love when people say that, like, you had one job, and you're like, dang! Yeah. <laughs> and you really like, I don't have one job. That one, jo that one job is for the fucking a million jobs, right? But, <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, and then, I guess, just to really wrap it up here, how did headphones play a process um, in making that album? Right. Whether that was, like on a flight or you said you guys traveled a lot yeah. how did headphones play a part? I think headphones play a major part not only in that album just in general right mm -hmm. um, I mean but that album I can say if we want to you know kind of specify that one or kind of dive into that one um, one two two really big important things that I can point out right one we had a, these massive writing camps right for one we had these we rented this house in Malibu and we utilized every single room in that house, right? We had people in the movie room. We had people in every bedroom. We had people in like living rooms and all kind of stuff. Just you know, massive speakers from that were that were rented. And you know, we had party next door in one room in the, in the, down there. We had Dream in the the, um, the 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 guest house, and you know, this other little guest house. We had Hit Boy there with like Stara and all these other people and. The weekend was in one. Travis Scott had a room. Like, no, it was like the most insane month of people just coming in and out and just doing all this stuff, right? And in me being an A and R, being just a creative, 
I can't kick somebody out of the room to go listen to beats, you know? Like, I'm constantly have to provide and I ha constantly have to keep these people motivated, right? Where we have people who have beats and stuff here, but we also have people set from London sending me music and, you know, sending me songs or sending me beats for um, Party Next Door to Write To and all this stuff. So I have to constantly collect music and collect all these stuff for to keep these people creative. So, you know, I want to go and listen to the music prior to going into a room with you know, let's just say uh, Esther Dean or someone and or, you know, B.B. Varelli or, or Party Next Door or Rook Monroe, whoever these guys are. I want to I want to go and listen to this music first. So I would find my little niche or my little, you know, crest, little small place in the room or, or in the house somewhere. And whether it be a bathroom or <laughs> whether it be a kitchen or, you know, or like outside, wherever, to sit outside or whatever the case may be. And I'm, you know, in my little zone going through my music and li going through emails and going through my my iTunes uh, a library of just beats and making my playlists and also, you know, I need that little that little space to, to kind of do my own thing. So it's super important because um, just that little privacy and to get into my own zone and my own field you know my own my own zone is, is super important and and it, it's funny too I would sometimes give Rihanna my computer and she would just go on her headphones you know away from all the madness and just go through all the songs that we collect throughout the day and you know she might go and and you know fall asleep with the headphones on and wake up humming a tune and be like yo that that, that one song I don't know but it was just I just kind of fell asleep and and that song just kept going in my head and I kept thinking about it that's how needed me kind of came came about funny um, she was going through like a list of maybe a hundred songs um, that I kind of gave her my computer and, the, and her head and, um, and some headphones I had, um, and that song just kind of stuck out out of the rest. And she was like, woke up like, we need to cut that record. So you know that was that was that one way that went there. Um, yeah, I think that's just the, the the really really important thing is just kind of getting in your zone and in your vibe and in your your own your own mode. And then plus too with anti and with any Rihanna album, it's it's a worldwide mission. Like we've recorded this album in. We've been to London, we've been to Paris, we've been to Germany, we've been to Barbados, we've been to, we have writing camps in Jamaica, G-Jam, we've had, we've worked in Hawaii, we worked all across the U.S., in Miami, New York, L.A., you know, all, all over, anywhere you can imagine. I'm, I'm probably forgetting a ton of places right now. Three years, that's a long time. Yeah, three years. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, you think about it, she's a, a, a global superstar, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, we try to maximize her time if she has a you know, a, a Fenty beauty shoot or whatever it is, a, a in-store performance or whatever she has to do in this side of the world, we want to make sure we're staying creative and making the record. So we, you know, we follow her a lot, you know, we follow her and we set up studios in, and that's another thing, we set up studios in hotel rooms and set up studios in, you know, the back of um, concert venues and, and things like that. So noise requirements are obviously in hotels and things like that. We have to use headphones, we have to listen to stuff. Everyone in the room has headphones. Listen, you know, we might play it on the speakers loud, once we kind of get it down to a certain degree, but for the most part, when she's recording and doing all that stuff, we're listening to things there, and and I don't want to interrupt and or you know have something loud, and they're recording in the bedroom, we have to be quiet, so I'm in the next room too with my headphones on, just kind of going through my music too as well. So headphones play a huge, huge part of it, and 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 also going back to the traveling part of it, just being on planes, you know, you know, half the time just being on planes and 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 going through, and sometimes that's the that's the pro that's probably the best time I get to just zone out, no phone calls, no interruptions, you know, no one bothering me to come into another room to hear something, you know, no one coming into my office, none of that stuff. Real airplane, real airplane, real airplane <laughs> mode, real airplane mode, you know, where regardless of, you know, obviously determining on where we're going, five, six hours or whatever the case may be to just, you know, get some sleep or just wake up refreshed and zone out and listen to 100 tracks, reply to emails, reply to songs, listen to all that stuff. So that's probably the biggest point of, uh, of, of using headphones and, and utilizing them. So that being said, the importance of having good headphones is, uh, is crucial.